Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take on Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take on Tottenham. And full-time result in the Carabao Cup quarter-final. Uh, Tottenham 2, West Ham 1. Very good game. Very, very good game. Not as good as uh, Sundays against Liverpool, but a very enjoyable game um, if you're a neutral. Um, but yeah, really, really uh, entertaining stuff once again, which is very nice to say. Uh, I'll get onto that a little bit later, but um, yeah, very difficult match, of course. Um, <laughs> if you've been living under a rock this season, um, West Ham and last season as well, I guess. Um, West Ham uh, have really kind of turned a corner under David Moyes um, and really found almost like a togetherness and, and um, a general, you know, I don't know how to say it really, a, a, a really good work ethic um, as, as a group. And, they, and they're obviously showing a lot of teams that this season. Um, you know, they've beaten Chelsea. I think they've obviously beaten us. Granted, we were under Nuno, a different, way different team back then. But um, yeah, literally like um, every most most of the games that they've been involved in, especially against the big six, um, they've given them a you know, a good game sort of thing. And, and um, today was no different. Very hard, hard fought win. Um, but a very impressive win as well. Um, so let's get into it. So a few changes. Um, Bervine and Doherty, most notably uh, coming into the starting 11. But it was a really strong, strong lineup. A strong lineup from both teams, really. But uh, obviously a few changes here and there. But generally quite strong um Strong lineups. Lucas Mora also back, um, and it it was just it kind of just started off, and we had that feeling that it was going to be like the game on Sunday. Um, so Kane had a really early chance um, where I don't know how really, but he kind of got the uh, it was a brilliant, brilliant ball through from uh, from Lucas Mora, who's really doing that quite well tonight. Um, threaded it through to Harry Kane and, and he got a shot away with his left foot and it it didn't look like it was going to be much initially but somehow he managed to get the get the shots away and produced a, a good save out of Ariola. Um Larice, we'll get on to Hugo Lloris uh later. Um but I, I think it one thing that a lot of people will have noticed is he was very commanding in this game. In particular the first half I thought um Coming out punching a lot um, for corners and crosses. West Ham had a lot of corners, had a lot of crosses, and Hugo, apart from one that I can remember, dealt with most of them. Uh, he came out, punched them out, caught them, whatever. And like I said, apart from one, where I think it was Craig Dawson had a header, and Declan Rice kind of got in front of Lloris, and he and he missed the ball. But apart from that one, I'd say he pretty much got everything that he went for uh, today. Um, one really disappointing note, and I I wrote it down because it just it really like grinds my gears whenever I see this in a football match. It, Christian Eriksen used to be very guilty of it in his last season, um, and since then obviously we've not had a really I would say a real top notch set piece taker like Christian Eriksen. Um, but one thing that always gets me is when you have a set piece, be it a corner or a free kick. And you can't get it past the first man. And uh, Sergio Reguilón, we we basically won a free kick uh, just on the side of the box. Um, so it's kind of like a really close up corner that we were taking to the box. Um, and Sergio Reguilón took the free kick and it hit the wall. And then all of a sudden, because of West Ham's pressing, because they're a team that gets on fast and pushes, you know, presses the the danger out. Uh, we were from a free kick. Right near the West Ham goal, we were back at passing it back to Lloris. I didn't like that. It was shades of football under Nuno. Uh, and for me, it's criminal in football when you just can't get a free kick or a corner past the first man. It, it's criminal. It, it, you, it's Yeah, anyway. All this time, you're just waiting for that first goal. You know it's going to happen, waiting for that first goal. And it came in the, in the form of, uh, well... It was a really, really good goal. Uh, Stephen Bergvine, um a much-needed goal as well. Um, I, I've got a lot of love for Stephen Bergvine. I think he, you know, when when he 
has the confidence he can play really well but unfortunately over the last year or so he's lost his confidence because game time he's struggled with injuries as well we have to remember that um and he's just he he's just had that time where he's just never been getting the rub of the green and and luckily today he got a really good goal and just an outstanding performance um but the goal was really good um it it actually I thought was really great work from Harry uh, Harry Skip who's Harry Skip Oliver Skip um because Oliver Skip actually managed to keep the ball um and he played the ball out to it and it, for me that was kind of what started the move he played the ball out to Doherty um Doherty sort of held it up a little bit um passed it back to Hoybier Hoybier and you know you know the rest so Hoybier did did a run passed the ball did the run gave it to Bergvine who held it up really well really really well really really strong Hoybier made the the run out on the outside Sim Bergvine gave it back and they did a little another one too and Bergvine tapped it in and it was just a re- it was a beautiful goal a beautiful, insaneing, just a really good goal to watch and really good football. And where were we saying that about, you know, eight weeks ago, nine weeks ago? Um, so, yeah, that was really good stuff. But as of as always, you know with Tottenham, they never want to do it easy. They never want to just go, oh, no, we've got this now. I, for me, I switched off. Um, conceded about three minutes later. And it was just... it was individual errors um but for me they just switched off you know i thought they worked really hard to get the goal um and I, it was almost just like they got got like caught up in the euphoria of it and 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 just switched off and let west ham in um like i said west ham are a very pressing team and as soon as they went behind they went straight on the offensive and it was a eric dyer mistake which is really sad to say because um uh, Conte was saying he could be one of the best defenders in the world. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I can see where Conte would improve him. Um, but I don't think he will be one of the best defenders in the world. And I think too many errors like that that we've seen tonight. Um, basically, his absolute bane of Eric Dyer's career in recent years is his poor distribution. Um, can do really good distribution at times, as he proved on Sunday against Liverpool, and can do really bad distribution, as he proved tonight. Gave the ball away straight away um, and then got turned inside out by Jared Bowen and who you know scored a really good goal and it was a really good goal. Um, we then went back in front a few minutes later with a great goal from Lucas. Um, it was great work from Bervine. Held the ball up, kept running, kept running. Poor defending, I think, from West Ham anyway, but great work from Stephen Bervine. Pulled it across the, the goal for Lucas um, Lucas Mora to, to tap in. Um and spur and then really that was it for the scoring. You really didn't weren't going to say that because it looked like it was going to be one of these games that was going to be like four four or three three or something. But um, but yeah, that was it for the scoring. And really not not too much to to write in the second half. I mean, a lot of it happened in the first, but the second half it was just a few great saves from Larice. Really great saves. There was a one on one chance with Jared Bowen that he managed to get his hand to and and, and start, which was fantastic. Um, Apart from that, I'd say most most of the second half on Spurs' part was game management. I think naturally West Ham started having more possession, they started having more chances, and, and that's natural because Spurs went from in that mode where we were hitting them on the counter attack at times, and so and we kind of just kind of set up um, to manage the game at two one, um, you know, substitutions as well, um, and and yeah, we set up for that and and. Fair play to Spurs. They hung on. They did. They dug their heels in. They defended well. Um, a brilliant masterclass today from Hugo Lloris, I have to say. And um, and yeah, they ground the result out. And and it was again, it was an entertaining match. Uh, shout outs for Stephen Bergvine, brilliant on the ball. Like I said earlier, carrying it forward, brilliant passing. Uh, Lucas Moore, I thought as well, was was really good running with the ball, taking it forward, going at the defenders, and and his passing. Through balls as well, really, really good work. Uh, Oliver Skip, I thought another amazing display. Of course, uh, Hoybier as well. Those two are brilliant together. Um, Harry Kane, I thought had a better performance again. Not didn't score, but I thought he had a better performance. He was dropping deep at times, doing some really good through balls, um, and getting in positions and and carrying the ball. And and I 
hold, you know, I just, I, I don't want people to just go, oh, he was crap because he didn't score. Of course, we want him to score, but I think he still had a better performance. Um, and Winks looked good again. A brief, albeit off off the bench, but I thought he looked good again. And again, I didn't think I'd be saying that uh, a few weeks ago, but um, really good. But I have to say, man of the match, Hugo Lloris, without a doubt. Um, he wonderful saves and and won us the game I thought um so uh with that that is it um we're into semi-finals uh live would be against well I've currently got the penalty shootout and Leicester have just missed theirs um so it looks like it's probably going to be Liverpool or uh Chelsea or Arsenal so it's going to be a very difficult match regardless so we'll see who we get um but as of right now uh, that's it now for the videos before Christmas. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment. What do you think of the game? Were you impressed? Um, I was, very much so. And how nice is it? Entertaining football. It's in. It's really good to watch. I'm really enjoying it at the minute. Um, so yeah, it's stressful, but it's entertaining. So um, yeah, back in action on Boxing Day. So I'll see you guys then. But um before i go just have a wonderful christmas um enjoy it and um i hope you guys will stay safe and, and just have a great time with friends family and everything and uh, just have a really really great christmas made better by tottenham hotspur hopefully so i'll see you guys in the next video and as always come on spurs